was muted. <laughs> I'm in shambles. I was muted. <laughs> Mutata. Oh my god, that's my name. Mutata. Thank you for pointing that out immediately before I like got like too far into the game. <laughs> Um, let me start again. Hello, everybody. Hello, Twitchy Templar. Hello, Liquid Knight. Hello, Red Wine. Hello, Verso. Hello, Hale. And hello, Relics. <laughs> My name is Mute Mana Mutana, and I'm here to play Final Fantasy X. Um, I turned down the music, but maybe I turned it down too low. Okay, okay. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to my disaster of a stream. My name is Mana Scarlet. I'm the girl who mutes herself all the time, and I'm here to play Final Fantasy X. So I missed my Final Fantasy X stream last week because, um, life happened. Uh, <laughs> Life got in the way, so I had to skip 10 last week, but to make it up, I am streaming it twice this week, so I'm streaming it today, and I'll be streaming it again tomorrow, and um, moving forward, I'm actually going to continue streaming it twice a week, so from here on out for a few weeks, Thursday and Friday, I will be streaming Final Fantasy X. Um, that said, next week I'm switching my stream schedule, so I'll be starting at noon Eastern instead of 4, so do keep that in mind, I'll be starting much earlier than before. <laughs> you thought I was doing a joke? You were like, weird, there's no sound? <laughs> Though sounds like it was a great joke. Well, I hope you enjoyed my joke, it was totally on purpose! <laughs> Um, before I start, there are uh, a few things I want to say. As usual, I have been having internet issues. However, because um, my roommate isn't here and I have my bandwidth all to myself today, I don't think there'll be any disconnects today, although it is always a possibility, knock on wood. Um, I don't think I'm going to see any disconnects today, but there might be some uh, bitrate issues. So if you see the stream get really crunchy, I apologize. Um, it should clear itself up pretty quickly, but nonetheless, there is a good chance we might get some crunch today, and I apologize. Mutana or Mumana? I like Mumana. Mumana sounds cute. <laughs> um, also, I am having some weird PC issues today. My capture card wasn't working, and that's why my stream started a little late, but um, I, it, it's working now. But if my capture card crashes, I'll cry, but uh, hopefully that won't happen. And hey, um, <laughs> I, uh, I am expecting a, a apartment maintenance people to show up, maybe, um, which is fun and cool. I love that for me. I love that for me. Um, I got contacted by my apartment management last night and said, hey, we're going to send some maintenance people to everyone's apartments in the middle of the day. And I'm like, cool, I'm streaming. Streaming, that's cool and fun and great, and I love that. Um, as far as I know, they haven't shown up today. It's always possible. They showed up while I was asleep, which is also fun and cool. I love that. Uh, but yeah, if they do happen to show up while I'm streaming, I told them to leave me alone. <laughs> I told them to leave me alone, do what they gotta do, and leave. So, um, hopefully maintenance will not be interrupting me today, but if they do, uh, well, that's what the BRB screen is for, right? <laughs> All right, all right, I think that's enough of an intro. I know we're all dying to play more Final Fantasy X. It's been so long. Um, I hope you're all doing well today, and let's, um, let's get in there. Boom, Final Fantasy X. <laughs> so, I actually did some off-screen grinding uh, since the last time I played X. Not much. Um, I made sure to avoid progressing the story. I basically walked up and down this hallway a bunch. But I, I did a little bit of grinding. Um, I mostly focused on uh, these three. Kimari, Yuna, and Lulu. And I picked up a bunch of um, ability spears because I really need those. I don't know where they are, but trust me, I have them. Yeah, here we go. 20 ability spheres. I'm gonna need those. So I, I I did a bunch of grinding to pick up a bunch of these. But yeah, um, I mostly, mostly focused on these three. I wanted to um, start unlocking some new stuff for Kimari since Kimari is a very flexible character. I wanted to start sending him onto other people's sphere grids. Um, Yuna, I wanted to really work on her because um, she's our healer. She needs to be really strong and cool. I don't think I got... I don't think I got Cura for her. I think I was on my way to get Cura, but didn't quite reach it. I don't know where Cura is, but I don't think I have it yet. Oh, it's here. 
Yeah, I was trying to get Kira for Yuna, but um, I didn't quite reach it. Where did I send Kimari? So I uh, sent Kimari to Riku's sphere to pick up Steel, and then I turned him around and I set him to Waka's to start learning debuffs. And this is the route I have chosen for Kimari for now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get Yuna Kira, but I didn't quite reach it. And besides that, the most important one is I got all of these uh, spells for Lulu. We got Fyra, Watera, Sandara, Blizzara. I felt that was really important. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's your favorite route. Nice, nice. But yeah, so I mostly um, mostly worked on these three characters, which means the other, the other three didn't uh, get a lot of focus. But that's okay. I'm sure it's fine. I felt like these three were the most important characters to work on, so I did. All right, last time. Last time on Final Fantasy X, my dad killed a bunch of people, and I'm very mad about it. So let's see what happens next. Now that I can finally traverse this hallway. <laughs> um, I have to remember how to... how to play. It's been a few weeks, so... Right, right, right. Is this my first playthrough? It is not. I have played this game before. However, it's been a very, very long time. I haven't played this game in over a decade. So while I do remember a lot of the major plot points of this game, I've forgotten a lot of the smaller things. Um, so it's it's been a hot minute, but I have played this game before. Basilisks are my friends. They've given me so, so many ability spheres. Just so many. Phoenix down. Nice. You know, I spent all this time grinding off stream. I'm kind of not in the mood to fight more random encounters right now. I only did that one just now because uh, chimeras drop ability spheres and those are very precious, but I don't want to fight mushrooms and bees, as it turns out. I'm not in the mood to fight mushrooms and bees right now. I fought plenty off stream. I've had enough. <laughs> the Crusaders have been ordered to regroup at Jose Temple. Not many left to regroup, but... We've decided to rest at the temple. I just hope they let us. We've been excommunicated after all. They might throw us out. Oh, I almost forgot. There are fiends here that petrify humans. Wear this. It should help. Oh, thank you. It's a soft ring. Nice. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. We love chimeras because they give me lots and lots and lots of ability spheres, and we love that so much. Now he did tell me, he did tell me he turned my people to stone. But that's okay because Yuna knows Asuna now. So yay! <laughs> Yuna saves the day!
I also, while I was grinding off stream, I uh, tried out the um, rearranged soundtrack. So this is the HD remaster of the game. And one of the things they let you do is either use the original soundtrack from the original Final Fantasy X, or they have a new rearranged version that you can use. And I, I tried it out um, while I was grinding, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it feels wrong. <laughs> it's pretty good, but it feels wrong. Um, it's very, very nice and like powerful and dramatic, but the overworld music right now is like this really sad song and I'm like I I don't know if I'm feeling sad hearing this <laughs> it's good don't get me wrong it's good but like I don't know it just uh it, it, it wasn't it wasn't feeling right for me also hello a fossil Kate Sith doll what's that what's that I'm intrigued tell me more oh I have a dreamy Kate Sith what does a fossil Kate Sith do stone touch Sleep touch, sleep strike. Um, would this even work with Lulu? I'm not really using her to like physically attack anybody. <laughs> I mean, why why not? I guess let's get a fossil Kate Sith in here. I guess I'll show you what I mean about the music. Like, it's fine, it's nice, but it doesn't feel right. Maybe I'm just too used to the original soundtrack. I don't know. Yeah, both soundtracks are great, but I have nostalgia for the old one. I think that's exactly how I feel. I think I'm just too nostalgic for the original soundtrack to want to use this other one. It was specifically... Wait, I remember now. It was specifically the battle music. The battle music is so dramatic. <laughs> Nice, nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel the same at all. Like, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but... I, I don't know if I could, like, hear this every single time I'm in a random encounter, right? <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's good, though. I would love to, like, uh, this sounds like a really good version to hear in, like, a live concert sort of setting. <laughs> uh, thank you for the oof relics. Uh, I feel the exact same way. <laughs> this sounds like something that would be really, really nice in, like, an orchestra live concert sort of setting. But I don't know how I feel about it, like... If I had to hear this every single random encounter, right? fine. It's fine. I just... I like the original. <laughs> My comrades are dead. All because we ignored the teachings. Relying on a forbidden machina. What the heck were we thinking? This will hardly make amends, but... I want the Lady Summoner to have this. Oh yay! Ether! Yippee! There's so many monsters on this road. I've had enough of all of these all of these monsters for now. I want to I want to do more story. It's been like 10 minutes or whatever and I haven't done any story. We incurred heavy casualties in last year's Jose Coast defense operation. But even those losses don't compare to this. I found this lying on the battlefield. Maybe it will be of some use to you. Mega Potion sounds nice. As followers of Yevon, we believe in aiding all those who are wounded. Even the excommunicated crusaders. They have suffered so much, I believe the time has come to welcome them back. May Yevon's blessing be with you.
These are the only guys I want to fight right now. And just because of their ability spheres. Give me that. Give me all your ability spheres, please. Revenge. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to have you here. bunny or a fox? I am a bunny! <laughs> Hi, Lucian! Welcome to the stream! It's nice to see you! Yes, I am a bunny. <laughs> hey! How much longer till Xanarkin? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. <laughs> in Jose! We can't just skip all that. Can we? Huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. <laughs> Aww. All right, we're going to the temple in Jose. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration check, Lucian. <laughs> hey. I wonder who we're gonna hey. meet in. New guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Why? Huh? That sounds important. You know her. She would distance <laughs> herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jet? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. I'm not a kid I... anymore. I still don't buy your story, you hear? Yeah, let's not tell Yuna the important thing. She doesn't need to know the very important thing. That's very relevant to her pilgrimage. It's fine. I wonder which Aeon we're gonna pick up in the Temple in Jose! Whoa! Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Ah. <sighs> We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. Oh no! We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. Just you now, but don't worry, we're here for you. So many died in vain. It was a mistake. We should never have ignored the teachings. I am personally not a big fan of hiding really important information to, from people who really need to know it. I think Is Yuna should know this. Temple? Awesome. <laughs> I 
I wonder if this is Ixion? The lightning mushroom rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the fate. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? <laughs> we have to hurry. Right. In we go. I'm getting Ixion vibes from this temple. <laughs> Uh, Chocobos look so cute in 10. I know! They look really, really cute in this one! You hate hiding info from people? I much prefer just telling people things. Yeah, same. Now, if I remember correctly, instead of Ramu, um, the lightning summon in this game is Ixion. I think... I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think this is the first game that had Ixion. Oh, hi. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Please to meet you. <laughs> and I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Finally, a nice summoner. This is the first nice summoner we've met. I mean, besides Yuna, obviously, but... <laughs> the other summoner was mean. <laughs> Just smoke some weed, you'll be so high summoner in no time. True! <laughs> R.I.P. Old Man Ramu. Old Age finally got him in this game. Rest in peace, Ramu. We'll never forget Ramu. you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Mm -hmm, what? Mm -hmm. What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! Bye! Hi, J Ribbon! Welcome to the stream! How many hours in am I now? Let me check. Uh, 13 hours, but I did spend a few hours grinding off stream, so it's probably closer to like 11 hours. Um, I'm still very early in the game. Definitely. Also, I'm kind of, uh... <laughs> uh oh, the first thing I'm doing today is a, uh, temple. The I'm really bad at these. Lies within. Are you prepared? I'm as prepared as I can ever be. Let's get it over with. I'm so bad at these trials. <laughs> but this is my um third temple. All right, guardian, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Wish me luck, gamers. <laughs> 
Last temple went pretty smooth. The last temple was all right. The first one was a struggle and the last one was all right. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> a Jose sphere is inserted here. Let's go. So yes, I, again, um, the lightning summon in this game is Ixion instead of Ramu. And I'm not completely sure if this is the first game Ixion has appeared in. I do believe it's the first time Ixion has appeared as a summon. Um, but it is entirely possible that Ixion has appeared as, like, monsters in previous games and I've forgotten. Um, I am not, like, really, really sure about any of that. Um, the only games I know for sure Ixion appeared in is this one and then Final Fantasy 14. And the Ixion in Final Fantasy 14 I'm pretty sure is like exactly the same as the Ixion in this game. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Bro, Jose is ruined for me now. Oh no! <laughs> You know, now that I think about it, Ramu actually uh, gets replaced a lot. Um, this is the first one Ixion appeared in. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, but yeah, Ramu actually gets replaced a lot as like a lightning summon. Um, usually it's Ramu. Like most games, the lightning summon is Ramu. But in this one, it's Ixion. And then in Final Fantasy VIII, it's, uh, it's a summon called Quetzalcoatl. Which is like this bird-like creature. So yeah, for some reason, Ramu gets replaced a lot. <laughs> um... It will also be uh, really, really funny if I'm incorrect and Ixion does not uh, come from this temple. But I will be very surprised because this is definitely a lightning temple. I'm doing the thing where, like, something I can interact with is, like, not obvious to me. But I think I did see a hole in the wall. That's what my problem with these temples are. I, like, struggle to see, like, yeah. I struggle to see what I can actually interact with. These, uh, recesses kind of blend into the background a little bit. And it's, um, a little confusing for me. Uh, maybe this one? Or maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. Let's see what happens. Oh. Hmm. See, so yeah, Ramu gets replaced a lot. But Ifrit and Shiva seem to like... I don't think... Except for, like, the Ivelisse games, which is a whole other thing. I don't think they've really replaced Ifrit and Shiva, like, ever. Like, they've always been the fire and ice one. Um... Okay, now something's happening. Uh, <laughs> can I take this out? Can I can I grab the sphere? It's a super Jose sphere now. Okay, okay, that did something. Yeah, they replaced Ifrit in 12 with Bellius. I think you're right, um, but the Ivelisse games have like a completely different set of summons altogether, so all of them are different. Oh my gosh. Like, I believe instead of, um, instead of Shiva, I think it's Madween or something like that. And that might not be in 12, but it was definitely in the Tactics games. But it's been a while. I don't remember for sure. Uh...
instead of making like Ifrit and Shiva like summons in 12, they were like airships in 12. <laughs> However, they appear in 12 sequel uh, Revenant Wings. So they technically do exist. They're just, you know, <laughs> vanished into a DS game. <laughs> Can I push this forward? I should probably put a sphere in there before I push it forward. Anyway, I just think that's kind of interesting, considering, um... Ifrit and Shiva, and to a lesser degree Ramu, are such mainstays in the franchise, it's interesting to me when they get replaced by something else. I don't think that was the answer. <laughs> yeah, fate worse than death, true. <laughs> Being banished into a DS game. Uh, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings is a um, video game that exists. It's a video game that um, was made. <laughs> it's a video game that you can play. <laughs> Oh, but something I really like about Revenant Wings, actually, is, um... Wait, can I... Is this thing double-sided, maybe? Something that I really like about Revenant Wings is that the different summons have, like, um... Tiers. Like, there's a level 1 version, a level 2 version, and a level 3 version, and I really, really like the Shiva family, especially, because the level 1 Shiva... I don't... Oh, that did something. Hello? <laughs> the level 1 Shiva, I forget her name exactly, but she's like a little little baby princess Shiva. And then the level 2 Shiva is actually a prince. Um, his name is Shivar, I believe, and he only exists in Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. Like, only that game. And then, of course, level 3 is Shiva herself. Good for her. Um, so yeah, I really liked, like, the little tier system they had for the summons in Revenant Wings, and I think that's the only thing I liked about that game. <laughs> um, yeah, just like how you can play four Heroes of Light, exactly. You need to play 9 and 10 yourself at some point, especially since you own them. You should! They're some of my favorite games. They're really, really good. My face when I played the first Final Fantasy and I pick four warriors and have them all use double bucklers. Oh, that is a play. That is the play of all time. <laughs> Wait, there's another male Shiva? You only know of chivalry? Um, hello, there's a, there's a male Shiva named Chivalry? <laughs> are, are you being real with me? Are you being real or are you being, are you being funny? <laughs> are you being real or funny? <laughs> But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings has Shivar. Once I have an opportunity, well, maybe I'll just pull him up right now. Let's get Shivar in the chat. <laughs> oh, he's in World of Final Fantasy? I'm unfamiliar. I've actually never played that one. Well, let me show you Shivar. One second. There he is. This is Shivar. He is from Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. He's a nice looking gentleman. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Revenant Wings had these tiered summons and uh, I like them. I think they're neat. I think Shivar is really, really neat and handsome. <laughs> Chivalry, Ifrida, and Ramul are from World of Final Fantasy. Um, I need to learn more. I don't know anything about World of Final Fantasy. I'm intrigued. <laughs> you don't know why you've never heard of Final Fantasy XII until now? Also weird why you never wondered why there weren't something bet <laughs> between 11 and 13? That's true. <laughs> he looks nice. Yeah, he looks like a nice gentleman. 
You want to see a version of Shiva in the Final Fantasy games not just use ice, you want to see a fighter style Shiva that actually starts dancing the Tendava as a move? And Shivar looks great. I, uh, I love Shivar. He's like my favorite thing about Revenant Wings, but he's only level two. Level three is Shiva herself. She's much stronger and cooler. Um, oh, Mana, you'll love World of Final Fantasy. You ever look at a monster and go, I want that as a chibi that sits on my head? I do. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, World of Final Fantasy is the one with all the chibis. For some reason, I was thinking of Four Heroes of Light. Absolutely, I need World of Final Fantasy. Oh my gosh, that would be a really fun one to play on stream because I've never played it before. Much to think about. Um... Maybe if I do this... Put this here. Anything? Anything happen? <laughs> hmm. I don't think I see anything else. Oh, wait. <gasps> wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> Gaming! Cool puzzle you got there, Jose Temple. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try shuffling the Super Jose Sphere with the regular Jose Sphere. Because the Super one opens the door. put a regular sphere to like light up the symbol um okay what am i missing here is there another really obvious like indentation in the wall that i'm missing or maybe i'm supposed to do something down there i think i've done everything down there I mean, I must be missing something. I don't think there's any... any spheres back here for me to grab. Oh, wait. Maybe... I put a Jose sphere into this one all the way back here. To be honest, um, I don't think I'm a big fan of these temples. <laughs> They're mostly just confusing to me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe? Oh, we only lit one up. So there's... There's another one on this side. Okay. Now I take the one from the door. And I put this one all the way back here. But yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of these temples so far. Especially with uh, how uh, difficult it is sometimes to see what can and can't be interacted with. Plus, pushing the, pushing the pedestal is kind of awkward. The physics behind it feels kind of weird. Uh, oh, I won? Question mark? <laughs> You're doing great so far. A lot of people get stuck on pushing the pedestal into the lightning. Not me. If I see a pedestal, the first place it's going is straight into the lightning. <laughs> oh, is there more? Damn, I thought I was done. Okay. Cool. 
cool. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I don't think I can interact with these anymore. I don't think it's a good idea to remove any of these spheres now. I think it'll disable my elevator. And the pedestal is gone forever. Just gonna just start mashing the A button until I find what I'm supposed to interact with. Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh my god, there's pedestals all the way back here. Okay. They're like not on camera, but I understand now. I understand now. Did we eat any spheres yet? Welcome back. Yeah, they were very good. Very electrifying. Yum yum. I love these spheres. Delicious. These, these pedestals, like, I get it now that I'm looking at this device, but these pedestals were completely off camera. That's silly. <laughs> Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. It would be so funny after all of this if the summon in here was not Ixion, but instead, like, Titan or something. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. <laughs> right, that lightning, Mumana. Thank you, Relics. <laughs> oh. Still traveling quite the crowd, I say. The bully summoner is here. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? <laughs> you are. <laughs> are it, no? This guy. What of it? Can I shake it? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Sir Arin, you're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I love that. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Wait, I really like this. This Calling is cute. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Martello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> you know... You know who those two remind me of? You know who those two remind me of? And I'm... I'm, I'm a visionary. I'm so right. I'm about to spit some truth here. You know who those two remind me of? Yzma and Krunk from Emperor's New Groove. That's who they are. Am I wrong? I'm not. I'm correct. Please understand my vision, please. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. <laughs> Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You grow stronger, but are still a pup. Okay, okay, whatever you say. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Um, I guess I'll, like, stand here? Or here? Is this one of those things where I actually have to interact with something when they tell me to wait? It seems to be happening, um, a lot. <laughs> I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. <laughs> How much longer? She sure is taking her sweet time. Stop pacing around. Be calm. All right. When the game tells me to wait, that's code for attempt to leave, and something will happen. Oh, much to your father. All these guardians and Sir Oren too. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. 
I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. <laughs> Oh, Ixion, let's go! Hi, Laird Lorraine, hello and welcome! Congratulations on your three stream streak, nice! Nice to have you here. Um, as usual, I've got too small of a brain to rename, rename any of these guys. So they will just continue to have their default names because my brain's small. <laughs> You've been able to catch every stream since you found me? Nice, nice! Well, I'm always happy to have you here. <laughs> Name it, Ramu. No! Can I go back? I have to go back. I need to fix this. I need to name him Ramu. I messed up! You're right. I should have named him Ramu. I missed my shot. I'm in shambles. <laughs> no matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Donna has left. Isaru too. Get ready for the journey ahead. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. <laughs> okay, well, where is she? <laughs> Do I have to go inside? Yeah, some of these triggers in this game for, like, cutscenes are kind of weird. Sometimes they want me to leave and sometimes they don't. Like, at face value, I would expect to just wait until something happens and could stand around forever. So sometimes I just don't know what this game wants me to do to trigger the next cutscene. <laughs> just name them all Mumana. True, true. The monkey's like Aaron. <laughs> Me too, monkeys! Me too! Ook, ook! <laughs> okay, Yuna, where are you? In here, maybe? Hi! This inn belongs to Jose Temple. Will you be staying with us for the night? Um... See what you got. Pretty good on stuff, it looks like. Although I would like some softs, actually. Thank you. Maybe sleeping at the inn is the trigger, I say, as I walk outside. It's just there's a save point out here, so interact with that first. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> test my sleep at the inn to make Yuna appear theory. <laughs> Rename them all Dave. True, true. <laughs> You're so right. Is there a way to rename them in this game? Is that possible? Wait, now I'm curious. Overdrive is Thor's hammer. Special attack arrow spark. <laughs> These trials remind me of the dragon trials from Breath of Fire. <laughs> Bird Dave, Fire Dave, Horse Dave. Oh my gosh, I love all these Daves. I love them so much. Oh, there's treasure back here. Switch Hitter. That sounds like an item for Waka. Switch Hitter sounds like the name of a ball. I was correct. There you go, Waka. <laughs> Yuna's still not here. My rest at the inn to make Yuna appear theory is false. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Oh, God, well, where is she? <laughs> you can if you get a rename card. Oh, I'm going to look for those. Um, are those like rare items from like chests or something? Or can I buy them somewhere? I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for those. Where, oh, where is Yuna? Is she over here? Oh, there's treasure back here. 
Ability sphere. Love to see it. I love those. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Get ready for... Donna has left. We're leaving once... No matter how dark... And our journey. <sighs> Where is she? <laughs> Do you want some help? Yes, please. If you know how to make Yuna appear, I would love to know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone. Yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. <laughs> you have an idea? Psst, 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 psst. Left of the staircase. So in here? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, there she is. We found her. <laughs> Que. I don't think that's a chocobo. <laughs> She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now, then. <sighs> ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh wow, she's just like me. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, she's just Don't like worry. me. <laughs> it's okay. This is literally me this morning. And why, by this morning, I mean this afternoon when I woke up. I'm in shambles. Yuna's having a moment. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, sleepy head. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, it's like they're talking to me right now. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush. Here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? <laughs> you could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you. But with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is this today? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Me and Yuna, we're the same. <laughs> oh, you too, Sir Orn? <laughs> Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. Aww, this is so cute. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. I really, really love the little moments in the game like this. It's one of the highlights of the game for me. Highlights of the story. I love this game. Damn, I love this game! Yuna! Yuna, you're cute! Yuna, let's go! Let's go on a pilgrimage together! <laughs> Yuna! Show me the way! <laughs> Not so early. Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough. But thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? <laughs> Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, 
Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. I love these little monkeys. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, poor Clasco. <laughs> Even Grandpa cracked a laugh. Aurin absolutely deadpan in his delivery. Makes it a thousand times more hilarious. Absolutely. Aurin is so good. <laughs> Girl, are you okay? Your whole ass is out. That's just fashion is all. That's normal here. That's normal in Spira. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow baby, here we come. <laughs> Moonflow baby, here we come. <laughs> I love this game. This is so much fun. This game has so much charm to it. I adore it. It's not much of a wound. I should be able to go on. But I can't. We've always fought side by side. Now we go back home together. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> it's these guys. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration check, Lucian. Single-handedly keeping me hydrated during this stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nice! Perish, Ochu! Oh, Aaron's this is this is my dad Aaron. He has every disease. Summoner unit, ready. The minions revenge! Thank you so much for the follow! I really, really appreciate it. Remember, um, during the whole, uh, Crusader mission, um, there was an NPC who really wanted to fight in the front lines, but he was, like, put on guard duty, and he was, like, really, really upset about it, right? And I remember he asked me, hey, do you think I should go to the front lines? And I told him, I told him to stay behind, um, and I saw him just now. Um, I spoke to him just a little bit ago, and I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, if I had told him to go to the front lines, I think he would have died when Sin attacked, if I'm remembering this correctly. Um... But... I thought I vaguely remembered something happening to his captain as well. And I'm wondering if this was a situation where my choice determined who lived and who died, or if it was only the fate of that one guy. Because I don't think I've seen his captain since Sin's attack. Yeah, Lazu. Okay, so Luzu is dead. Is that correct? Luzu is dead? Um, that's his captain, right? So I saved that guy. I saved that guy, but now Luzu is dead, correct? Shalinda's still salty about the Crusaders. <laughs> it's fine. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think I vaguely remember that being a uh, you get to choose who lives and dies with one piece of dialogue situation, which is sad. It's very sad. I like it when Titus kills the enemy by turning them to stone. That's really cool. I think he should do it more. Go, go, go! You see his ghost right after the battle in a dream. Oh, I didn't realize. See, those stupid crusaders got what they deserve for being heathens. I'm not bitter about them ignoring me at all. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's what she said. <laughs> I 
I love it when Titus does that. That's a really cool trick you got there, bud. <laughs> Luzu! Wait, okay, it's been a few weeks. Luzu is the guy that Waka punched, right? Oh my god, the drama. Oh my god, the drama! Look! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. What's their problem? Hornless. Hornless. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Why is everyone in this you game a bully? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> what's what's their problem? Leave me alone. You, uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But, uh... It's Kimari's problem. I can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. <laughs> I like your attitude, kid. <laughs> Waka punched him right into his grave. <laughs> well deserved. True. Hello, Zombie Z. It's nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh. I love Tidus's cool little trick. It is very good. I love turning enemies to stone and killing them instantly. It's very good. Farewell. You've been lurking eating lunch? Nice! Oh, I hope you're having a nice lunch and thank you for the lurk! I love Titus's cool little trick! It is so good! <laughs> The summoner is being summoned. See it if they like being plucked up while minding their own business and <laughs> forced to fight. Oh my god. Yeah, now they know how it feels. Now they know how it feels. Good job on completing the Jose Temple so quickly. Thank you. I felt like I felt like I was really slow on that one, but apparently that one's a uh, is is that a problematic one? Does a, do a lot of people get stuck on that one? Good one, Titus. Nice. <laughs> I still, okay, the, the Jose Temple went by a little quicker than I was expecting, which is good. I like going quick on my temples. So <laughs> yes, I do. I need you, Lulu. I need you right now. So far, my worst temple has still been the very first one. They do. That temple is usually a D&D &D party solving a kid's puzzle. I see, I see. Oh my gosh. Well, now, uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm redeeming myself for that very first temple. 
for an hour at the very least without any guidance. Wow. I think I must um I must be getting the hang of these temples then. I think I'm starting to wrap my brain around them. Titus is dying, Yuna. Do something about that. Well, he's not dying that bad, but still. Everyone can use a little healing. Oh, well, Aaron's got a lot of HP. What does he think? He has a tank or something? There was a little extra section with the destruction sphere. It's really subtle. Oh, man, did I miss treasure? Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> I can come back to it later? Okay, okay. I did find the treasure in the Ifrit temple. So I'm sad I missed the Jose one. Here we go. Titus, do your funny little trick. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Titus's trick is so cool. If it's something you can miss, do you want to know about it? Sure, I don't mind. Um, I don't... Um, so for backseating on this game, I have played this game before a really, really long time ago. It's been more than 10 years for me. Um, so I remember pieces of the story, like the major plot points, but not like the smaller stuff. So like the smaller interactions and like the puzzles and all of that are long forgotten for me. So I don't mind a little bit of help in that regard. Um, especially since this isn't my first playthrough. Like, I don't mind. I already missed... <laughs> I already missed an upgrade for Valifor back in, uh, the Sayd. So... <laughs> it's definitely, uh, definitely very helpful. You like that? to get any tips out there. <laughs> Apparently a dog had a treat for Valifor and I missed it. I'm in shambles. You can't go back to the next two temples and each temple has a chest. If you get the chest from each temple, you can get something special. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, I can go back to the Jose temple to pick up what I missed, but for the next two, I need to make sure to pick up the item. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, this petrify attack is really, really good. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. This time I'll win. Believe. Believe. <laughs> but thank you so much for the help. I really, really appreciate it. Genuinely. I'm gonna win I'm this ready. time! That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? Oh, is it a battle of the Ixions? Let's go! Call whichever Aeon you want. Oh, I can pick! Huh. Um, well, okay, I can't pick Ixion, so I get to pick between Ifrit and Valifor. I'm gonna go with Ifrit.
This better kill, otherwise I think I lose. <laughs> Did I win? No. <laughs> I did not win. <laughs> Note that Ixion used haste. How is it that it may use magic that Yuna's Ixion cannot? Oh. Select abilities in the Aeons menu to find a list of new abilities your Aeons can learn. For example, if you teach Valifor the ability Cure, it can heal as well as fight. Oh. Thank you for the hot tip. It's time for me to lose this Pokemon battle. <laughs> Damn. Night hours. Hello. It's so nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, can we train these guys? Oh, wait. I can use... Wait, the battle's not over. I can summon Velifor now. That's interesting. Can we train these guys? <laughs> Our Pokemon looking kind of weak. True. Quick question. Is your model based off of Riku's character? Yes. Um, my model is my uh, stream character dressed as Riku. Absolutely. I love Riku. And yes, I still have another Pokemon. Let's get Velifor out here. Two against one. That's hardly fair. But you know what? I have to take these Ws somehow. <laughs> Riku is my favorite character in this game. <laughs> All right, you're immune to this. Okay. Oh, I won! Yippee! <laughs> I won! Stop. That is enough. But at what cost? <laughs> You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. Dragon scale. Nice. Summoner's soul. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Possessing the summoner's soul allows Aeons to learn abilities by expanding, expending items. Select abilities. Then select an Aeon. A list of available abilities will appear. The item cost for each ability is also displayed at the top right of the screen. On the left is the amount of items currently in stock. On the right are the amount of items left after the ability is learned. Items are spent when Aeons learn abilities. Abilities that have already been learned. And abilities for which there are insufficient items are displayed in gray. And cannot be selected. When you select an ability you want an Aeon to learn, you will be asked for a final confirmation. Select yes in the prompt to teach you the ability to the Aeon. Seems like pretty standard menuing level stuff. <laughs> Aeons can learn most of the same abilities as that of the characters, but there are some abilities that are unavailable to them. This concludes the learn tutorial. Well, I have learned so much. Thank you. I look you. forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. <laughs> yeah, that close to winning and Ifrit couldn't finish the job. I know, right? <laughs> Hooray for Bird Dave! Her mix ability is so OP. Ooh, I have to look into that. Time to gather a ton of items to upgrade our Aeons. Yay! <laughs> Ifrit is dead. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Ooh, silence attack, extract power. Extract ability? Um... That cost a lot of ability spears, but like imagine all the ability spears I could get. <laughs> Ifrit is dead. Long live Ifrit. <laughs> we learned how to learn? Fuck! <laughs> oh my gosh, do I spend 20 ability spears to get extract ability? That sounds so useful. Yeah, I'm doing it. Wow. Reflex. Raises party's evasion. Sounds pretty cool. Enemy data. Watera. Okay. Reflex. Party's of 
evasion. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I have plenty of speed spheres. These are a lot of the same. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> mana sphere, why mana giving out all those spheres? Uh, as a treat. This one's on the house. <laughs> you can get the extract spells on the sphere grid. Okay, okay. <laughs> there are a lot of the same. Gotta unlock basic abilities on everybody. Mm-hmm, 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 exactly. All right, so Titus. I haven't messed with your sphere grid in a while. Move you... Wait. You have multiple paths here. I should probably move you here first. Pick up all these abilities. And then go back. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Lulu. Waka. Teach you sleep attack. Could have used <laughs> that last night. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night. Could have used that, uh way earlier, Waka. <laughs> Yuna. Yuna's getting closer and closer to Kira every single day. Auron. Go ahead and move you, like, all the way up here. Teach Kamari the power of darkness, Waka's signature ability. <laughs> yeah, hey Mana, found this thing to help you sleep. Has a bat with sleep attack material attached to it. Thank you so much, Relics. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're gaming. wrong there? Why is my timing so bad there? <laughs> Why can't I play video games? I don't know. I feel like I've never done Tidus's overdrive correctly in my life. I'm doing what I think I should be doing. You know, timing my button mash, but like it, it's giving me the bad sound. go. 
Fetus' funny little trick. Click it before it gets to it, not when it's on it. Okay, okay, I'll keep that in mind next time. Thank you. Uh, can you describe what you're doing? Also, the Minion's Revenge makes a good point. I am pressing the A button when it looks like the cursor is above the yellow, um, but I'm going to try what the Minion's Revenge said and do it before it hits the yellow next time. This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! <laughs> We're not waiting till nightfall. <laughs> Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. The what? Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? <laughs> mm. <laughs> A what now? <laughs> I'm very eager to see what a shoe puff is. It sounds cute. Whoa! What the? Whoa! <gasps> oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Hello, sir. It's nice to meet you. <gasps> this is a shoe puff. <laughs> whoa! Let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we're ready, huh? <laughs> we ride the shoe puff! <laughs> oh, it's Waka! I remember you. Hello, sir. Oh, Waka, at your service. Well, what do you got there, bud? Double edge. It has fire strike and ice strike. That sounds really good, but I would lose my stone touch, and my stone touch has been very, 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 very good. It has been <laughs> excellent. It has been excellent. Switch hitter. I already have that. Uh, snake head. Freaking Mari. Magic and poison touch. No, that's okay. Mithril ring. HP up. Mithril defense, defense. Um. Maybe? Yeah, let's get this. Emerald Bangle. Yes. Serum Bracer. No, that's okay. Oh. You don't want any donations this time, Awaka? Well, if you say so. Shoe puffs. I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoot off shook. You know fall in water. <laughs> oh no! Shoot off scoop up you know with long nose. You know jump in three more times. For fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Kamari worry. Oh no! Oops. <laughs> you know had fun. Kimari happy. 
happy. Aww. Titus is truly a little kid at heart. He sees the giant elephant thing and is all like, let's get on, same, same, same. I want to ride the shoe puff. <laughs> I want to ride the shoe puff. Honestly, I think it's funny to put death touch on one of Lulu's weapons just to see a doll run up and one shot someone. Oh my gosh, if I see a doll with death touch, the second I find one, it's going on Lulu. <laughs> Off to cook, try and catch the rest of the stream when done, but if not, as always, thank you for the entertainment. Looking forward to your next stream. Going into lurk mode. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, Liquid Knight. Have a nice lurk and have a nice meal. <laughs> Where did the doll touch your enemy? <laughs> Everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Miran is troublemaker, but Ronzo do not lie. Summoners disappearing. That was not lie. Right. I'll be careful. Wh who's who's this man? Who are you? Dangerous when shoe puffs close. Want to be smooshed? Um, no, thank you. S sorry. <laughs> Hey there, if you don't buy anything from me, you will regret it. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. What do you got, sir? Serum shield. Yeah, no problem, bud. <laughs> there have been reports of all bed sightings in this area. Stay alert and keep your guard up at all times. I hope I hope we run into Riku soon. I miss her. <laughs> Need anything? Well, there's so many shops around here. What do you have? Definitely want a silence ward. Sure, why not? RN gets a treat. Wait, you might you might trigger the cutscene. Riding the shoe puff is free because the temple pays for it. Oh nice. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson. Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised. He drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. <laughs> Typical. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. Wait. But it would seem that shoe puff still works Oh, here. I see the scar. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry what my dad did, Mr. Shoe Puff. Oh my gosh. You say our machina violate the teachings, eh? Nonsense. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. How do I get on? I want to ride the shoe puff. big it's just not fair uh, he does have a point though so what we just leave him behind hey I didn't say that just <sighs> it is no good we will have to find another way we will find a ford where we can cross on foot yes captain sir but that'll take days where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Impossible. Where there's a will, there's a way. Im 
Those words ball. stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. <laughs> She's doing impossible. <laughs> That's a big ass scar too. Jack wasn't messing around with this poor shoe puff. I know. The poor shoe puff. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Oh boy, do I ever. Absolutely. Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. What? The water it sucks through its schnoz. It's somehow schnoz? Supports its considerable size. It's schnoz? Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. <laughs> teeny weeny? Hmm. <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. I learned so much, thank you. <laughs> Impossible channel point reward? <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> Impossible. Just a teeny weeny impossible. There's a long wait to ride the shoe puff since space is limited. But summoners get priority since they need to get on their way to Xanarkit. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration check, Minion's Revenge. Always need that. <laughs> Maybe if I stay hydrated, I'll actually be able to fall asleep tonight. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Ooh, lots of money. Nice. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. <laughs> right? Aw. Lulu, you just don't get it. <laughs> Let the driver know when you're ready. Which one's the driver? I was going to return to Bevel after the tournament in Luca, but the Crusaders blocked the roads and I couldn't get through. Are you the driver? Welcome. You seem to have fine taste, sir. Listen, buy from me and you won't have any problems down the line. Okay, well, what do you have? <laughs> Ice ball. This one's a little tempting. Fire strike and ice strike. But it's very expensive. Blurry moon. I do want dark touch. Give me that. Mm, and yeah, why not? Wait, no, I have like... If I buy this, I'll have like no money left. <laughs> No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Want some advice before you buy it? Absolutely, give me that advice. <laughs> Thanks. It looks like, I'm seeing like a, a ton of empty slots on some of these weapons. I wonder if I have a way to actually like give these weapons abilities later down the line. That'd be really cool. Ice, fire, lightning, and water touch can be traps. If you hit an enemy that absorbs it, you will heal them from your damage. Okay, okay, that is really good to know. I think I will pass on this uh, lance for now then. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, who do I talk to to ride a shoe puff around here? <laughs> Careful where you shop. This area is full of cunning merchants. Noted. I sure have noticed there's a lot of merchants around here. <laughs> oh, you. The impossible guy. Ride the shoe puff? Do you want to ride the shoe puff? I'm ready, let me on. All aboard. These guys should have been the new Final Fantasy XIV Beast Tribe. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to ride the shoe puff now. launching. <laughs> 
Shut the shoe puff. <laughs> City. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. No, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which machina we may use and which <laughs> we may not. Oh, yeah? So what kind of machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. <laughs> Whoa. What could that be? What could that be? Sit down. Sorry. Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Freebird8822, thank you so much for the follow! I really, really appreciate it! What are the Alvin doing? What the heck are they doing? Putting Yuna in a funny little bubble? Like, what's their problem? Leave her alone! Leave her alone, she barely got any sleep today. She's so tired. <laughs> uh, funny you say that. They remind me of those big eyeball guys in the benchmark. I, I know what you mean. I'm, I, I kind of see what you're saying. Chapu, yeah? Mm, yeah. Also, hello, Ayama Desu. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to have you. If humans have power, they seek to use it. <laughs> Walk and get off your spear grid. Yuna just got yoinked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Machina is bad, yeah. You can only use it for sport and nothing else, okay? <laughs> um, okay. I had a hunch he would be immune to Tidus' funny little trick. Probably immune to most things because it's a robot. Delays an action of an enemy. That might be useful. But for now, I wanna keep our defense up. Thank you for the hydration check, Lucian. I am I am very hydrated underneath all this water, but I could always use more. <laughs> Also, hey, with that sunken city, like, 
Maybe they really just wanted to, like, have a good water source. Like, maybe it's not that deep. I don't know. Honestly, a city over the water sounds kind of cool. They just needed to, like, build better bridges. <laughs> Readying depth charges. That sounds like something I wanna... I wanna defend for. I've been inflicted with darkness. This is so sad. White magic. Oh, haste. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Give me that. I forgot T just had this. I believe I taught it to him off stream. Um. Are we, am I still in potion range? Let's find out. Yeah, potions are fine. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to take care of that darkness. Uh, stop. Oh, I don't have, I don't have very many eye drops. That's not ideal. <laughs> I might switch Waka to support and Titus to offense then. Was that my last potion? Fine. Yeah, realistically, a lot of real-life cities are built close to water sources to ensure a steady supply for citizens. Exactly! You can't get much closer to a water source than, like, directly above it. <laughs> came back down. Awesome. This is a very, very cool uh, backdrop for this fight, though. A really cool setting here. I'm just gonna keep whacking the guy until he falls down. Um, Waka will just uh, cope with the darkness for now. I have, like, two eye drops left. I think it's more important that Tatus can see. Are you having fun in there, Yuna? <laughs> Are you having a good time? Are you enjoying your little bubble? Oh, if I hit it enough, it comes back down? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, okay, I'll keep that in mind. So defending was the wrong call. Aqua shooter. Don't do that! Don't shoot Aqua! <laughs> oh, I think... I think I won? Question mark? Maybe? Well, something's happening. cool about this game is that each character is actually a dual class, right? Right? Um, you can do some really cool stuff with the sphere grid in this game, too. It's taken me a bit to readjust to the sphere grid, but now that I'm getting the hang of it again, I'm uh, really enjoying the gameplay. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Ah, those outbed... Ish, everybody okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh, Super full speed ahead. <laughs> I like this guy. I love this man. Damn the outbed. What do they want from us? Could I have something to do with Luca? 
What do they have the uniform? Don't tell Waka. They're mad they lost the tournament. Don't tell Waka about Yuna's heritage. Wait! They're mad about Operation Meehan! <gasps> Whoa! I, I have to tell Waka! Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something? About summoners disappearing? Ah, so the owl better behind that! Those sand plastic grease monkeys! <laughs> this is so awkward. Hey, Waka! It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. <laughs> Aww. Damn. You know, he could have helped maybe have the shoe puff stop on the Machina. That's a good point. <laughs> Wait, no, he would have crushed Yuna. Oh, that would have been that would have been risky. So that's Lady Yuna. Huh. No wonder. Kimari Vale is guardian on shoe puff. Kimari never fail again. If only we had a third party member that can fight underwater. It sure would be nice if we had three people in the party that could fight underwater so that it wasn't always just Titus and Waka. I sure wish we had a third person who could fight with us underwater. How about seeing Lord Vraska and Guru Salam? I hope to celebrate Lady Yuna's calm while I'm still alive. Lord Vraska must be bursting with pride on the far planet having such a fine daughter. I heard the owl bed attacked you. Are you okay? I hope to celebrate. Li okay, they're just repeating now. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. <laughs> Yuna's so popular. I love that little drawing of the shoe puff back there. I love the shoe puff. What a funny little guy. <laughs> so I can't reach Yuna at all. Okay. Where's Aaron? Shoopuff sleeping? Wait until Shoopuff wake up? Uh, sure, buddy. Seems you destroyed the Albed's Machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen security so that the Albed won't get their way anymore. Oh, it's a Waka! I'll Waka at your service. I know a Waka got me. Oh, you only have items, though. Okay, but honestly, I should probably buy, like, a ton of more, uh... <laughs> A ton of more uh, stuff to remove debuffs so that I don't get stuck with like uh, three eye drops again. <laughs> Might be handy. I thought I was lucky not to run into any wily merchants on this side of the shore, but I ended up buying something from that man over there. Wait, how did Owaka get here? He wasn't on the shoe puff. <laughs> Did he cut in line? You're not a summoner or a guardian, buddy. Unless... Hey, you wanna... You wanna join our pilgrimage, Awaka? <laughs> you... You wanna join us? <laughs> Gossip travels fast for a civilization with no Twitter. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Guard Yuna. Okay. Whatever you say. Sin took my daughter, but I just saw her again for the first time in five years. That Guru Salam place was amazing. Oh, interesting. So I guess I have to sleep somewhere so that the shoe puff can wake up. Awaka is a magical merchant. Nothing can change my mind about this. I agree with you. I think you're on to something. <laughs> Whoms do I talk to to take a nap around here? Kimari Vale is gone. Who do I talk to to get a snooze around here? Who do I talk to to catch some Z's around here? Do I talk to the shoe puff? <laughs> oh, there's more over here? Oh, here we go. Here's something. I sense that Lady Yuna was here. I can feel the warmth of the people. The descendants of a high summoner and loved by the everyone. Yuna embodies perfection. Guru Salam is up ahead. 
but the path is infested with fiends. Make all necessary preparations before departing. Should I stay a crusader or follow a different path? I wanted to discuss this with someone in the far plane, but maybe I shouldn't. back there. That... Riku. You're Riku. Wahoo! Hey! Uh, you're okay. How you been? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. Riku, were what you happened? piloting that robot? You beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that Machina? That was you? Oops. You know, you big meanie. I'm sorry. W wait, but you attacked us. Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. Yo! Uh, hi, Waka. <laughs> Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <laughs> wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Okay, sorry. Right. Sorry, Waka. No boys what? allowed. What? Ah. Sir Oren? I would like Riku to be my guardian. Yes. Welcome to the team. Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? Hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Righto. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. Does Waka like... It was strange. No. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku <laughs> was one of them. What? <laughs> I, I don't think we were being subtle, Waka. <laughs> Best character, true. Hello, heathen self-healer. It's nice to see you. Is Waka... Dumb? <laughs> Wait, we weren't. 
We were being so obvious, though. You can literally, like, just look her in the eye. Like, all of that have those swirly eyes. Like, <laughs> it's since toxin, brother. True. <laughs> Riku! What are your... Oh, my God. Riku. Riku. Riku, you're, you, you look so weak there. Riku, you, you only have 360 HP. Like, Riku... You've barely, barely touched your sphere grid, Riku! Riku, you're so small! Welcome to the team! <laughs> Waka's been hit by a few too many blitz balls. Oh my god. How does... How does the the guy who hates Albed more than anyone else on the entire planet... How does he not recognize that Riku is Albed? Like, huh? <laughs> Damn, I, uh, to be honest, I was hoping Riku would be, um, I was hoping there'd be some kind of scaling system so that Riku would be, like, closer, closer in, uh, skill to, to my current party. But no, she's really far behind, huh? Well, we're gonna have to grind a lot of sphere levels on, on Riku. Let me go ahead and just make sure she's, like, in the party. Next to Waka, her best friend Waka, who trusts her with his life. She has a ton of HP nodes at the start of her grid. Okay, that is really good to know. So she'll catch up pretty quick. Okay, okay, that is really good to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to have her, but like, oh my gosh. She's so far behind. <laughs> I've been waiting so long to get Riku. I'm so happy she's here. Oh, that's a mimic. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I don't trust that. I've been hurt one too many times by mimics. I do not trust that for a second. Wonder what's inside. <laughs> treasure chests and battles. Use the special ability steel to open treasure chests found on the battlefield. Be careful. The battle will end as soon as your foes are defeated and any unopened treasure chests will be lost. Also, attacking a treasure chest will destroy it and all of its contents. <laughs> This is an interesting mechanic. Cool. Yay! Woohoo! You should know. I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. Mixing. Riku's Overdrive Mix allows her to combine two items in stock and create various special effects. The results are unknown until the items are actually mixed. Try mixing the two bomb cores you just found and see what happens. Oh, this sounds fun. This sounds fun. Uh, where are my bomb cores? Bomb core, bomb core, bomb core. Firestorm. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Riku's gonna be fun. <laughs> what did you just do? That was great. I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. Woohoo! That's my girl. Best character. <laughs> this isn't Palace of the Dead mimic, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> And that's why she's in 10 to. True. <laughs> Riku suddenly gets pox. No, I'll protect her. Riku, stand behind me. I'll save you. <laughs> the strategy guides for this game come with a huge fold-out graphic for all the combinations. Ooh. I might uh I might look some of these up. This sounds really fun. <laughs> Rika, Riku and Waka for the win. Hell yeah. Thief and Alchemist. Man, they really went crazy with the dual classing. This is awesome. This is genuinely really awesome. That's a really cool combination as well. I didn't realize treasure chests could appear in battles. I love how I immediately did not trust it. <laughs> I have no idea if there are mimics in this game. Um, don't tell me. I would love to accidentally run into one. But yeah, I don't actually know if mimics are in this game or not. That's something for, uh, for future mana to find out. <laughs>
I'll save you, Riku. <laughs> you haven't played this in like 20 years or something like that. Maybe 15 or somewhere in between. How long has this game been out for again? This game came out in 2001. So it's um, 23 years old-ish. <laughs> something like that. But that's, that's still so crazy to me. Um, if you didn't know, Final Fantasy IX came out in 2000. So this game came out one year after Final Fantasy IX. And um, it is quite, quite a jump in quality. <laughs> it's very, very impressive. Um, the, the, the quality difference between 9 and 10 is really impressive. Honestly, that era of Final Fantasy, the quality of their games like jumped every single time. I forgot to heal Riku. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. This game is old enough to rent a car and buy itself a drink. Uh, you're right. You're right, but I... <laughs> You are so right, but I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> that is, uh... I I'm a little shook thinking about that. <laughs> you bought Final Fantasies 1 through 6 on your PS4 Pixel Remasters? Oh my gosh, hell yeah! I hope you have fun! Maybe I should leave Yuna in the party while Riku is uh, dying. <laughs> this game is a year older than you, or it's two years older than you. Oh my gosh, yeah, this game is, uh... Old. <laughs> Remember when they used to release a Final Fantasy game like every single year? Those are different times. It's like 7 was 97. I don't remember which year 8 was, but I want to see it was either... I mean, obviously it was either 98 or 99. I just don't remember which one. And then 9 was 2000 and 10 was 2001. Not sure about 11, but 12, I believe, was 2006. Me just going down the Final Fantasy timeline. <laughs> Riku, do you, have any, do you have any health spheres yet? There is so much to love about the Final Fantasy Final Fantasy series. Absolutely. I adore the Final Fantasy franchise so much. Oh, well, now that Riku has health, she needs healing. <laughs> 760 is a little better than 360, if you ask me. I use Halo as an example of my age, since it's the same age as me. Nice. Um... I think, uh... Actually, no. No, no, no. Never mind, never mind. You use The Legend of Zelda? <laughs> I don't wanna... I don't wanna say which game is as old as me. It's a secret. Oh, this looks like a boss fight arena. Oh. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. 
Of course, your friends are also welcome. Oh boy, Seymour. I love that guy. He's so nice and cool. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Customizing equipment. Okay, here we go. I was asking about this just a little bit ago. Now that Riku has joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Let's take a look. Customize is used to upgrade weapons and armor by adding abilities to them. Now this is what I'm talking about. Items are needed to customize and add abilities to gear. First, choose the gear to customize. Note that some weapons and armor cannot be customized. If any of the slots in the abilities windows shown at the bottom right of the screen are empty, that gear can be customized. If an item has no empty slot, it cannot be customized. There is also gear that cannot be customized no matter what. Now, after selecting the gear to customize, a list of available abilities for that gear is displayed. The amount of items needed, so it's it's the Aeon ability stuff again. And the amount of items needed for the procedure is also displayed at the top right of the screen. On the left is the amount of items, uh-huh. On the right, it's how much are left after items are spent, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Abilities, uh, no, insufficient gray, yeah. Cannot be selected. You select an ability to add. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is like exactly the same as the Aeon stuff. <laughs> Some gear get new names after customization. This concludes the customized tutorial. What would you do without me? I would be helpless without you, Riku. I love you. <laughs> Hello there, nice and cool, I hear. Hello, Darkly Shaded Shadow. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you. Wait, can I, uh... There we go. I want to customize some of my equipment right now. I should maybe organize my inventory. I want to customize my Kate Siths. Oh, I can't. <laughs> At least not that one. Ooh, sleepy Kate Sith I can, though. And what about the other one? Fossil Kate Sith. Okay. So I can use... I can teach it sensor. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Phil! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Uh, are you a blend of Riku and Fran? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Uh, this is my, uh, this is my, uh, stream character, um, who is a, uh, is a rabbit character, and I have her dressed as Riku, so you're close, you're close. <laughs> Phil, thank you for the raid, let me give you a shout out. I'm the world's slowest, uh, slowest shout outer. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders! Welcome! My name is Mana, and I'm playing Final Fantasy X today! Oh my gosh, you're playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door? Oh, hell yeah! I've only heard good things about this remake. How is it so far? Hello and welcome! I hope you're having a nice day! <laughs> it's all good. It's just, I don't, so my streaming setup is just kind of awkward. I don't really have a dual screen setup per se, but instead I have like a giant tablet on my desk that's like helping me keep track of stuff, but it's like blocking my keyboard. So it's like makes me type real slow. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I love to hear it. I really want to play it. I love A Thousand Year Door. It's one of the, um, it's one of the handful of Mario games I've played before. <laughs> I really, really liked it back in the day, so I would love to play it again. Got sensor. Oh, but sensor costs ability spheres, so those are very precious to me. Distill power. Distill. Strength up, magic up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Lulu. On oh, my fossil Kate Sith. <laughs> I don't remember, okay, the thing is, is that, like, I don't remember which items I have equipped right now and which I don't. Rule breaker. Like, this is really cool that I can do this now, but I don't remember which items I'm actually, oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. They have little purple, little purple triangles on them if they're equipped. Okay, I see it now. Awesome. It's really good so far. I'll head out and rest because I put too much effort in voicing some characters. 
Oh my gosh, well, I'm so glad you had fun. Go and get a good rest, Phil. And thank you again for stopping by and bringing your community with you. I really, really appreciate it. Stone Touch is awesome, but no physical damage for Lulu. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but have a good rest, Phil. It was nice to see you. Okay, but now that I have this whole system unlocked, I'm gonna keep an eye out. I'm not gonna mess with this too much right now. I'll probably mess with this off stream. Um, but I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out on which uh, pieces of gear have a lot of empty slots. <laughs> yeah, she kills while doing like 15 damage with her dolly. I wanna see that. You know what? Next time I have the chance, I'm gonna get Lulu to attack with her little fossil Kate Sith just to see what happens. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, customization and stuff sounds like an off-stream activity. Oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Seymour is so cool. Care to hear about the far plane or the fireflies? Yes, please. I want to hear about both. Ahem. The far plane's the place where fireflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. Mm. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the fireflies' power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. That is that. Tell me about the other one. The far Care plane? About the far... No, that was the far plane. Tell me about the pyreflies. Ahem. They may be called pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the fireflies doing. In fact, fireflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows? <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. That is that. Adding magic to a stone touch is counterproductive, though. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> uh, no, the stone touch on Lulu just sounds really silly, but I want to try it just because I think it would be funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for destroying that owlbed contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. We Guado help the warrior monks patrol the roads beyond. Why would we why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? The Guado welcome all guests. Would you like to rest here? Yeah, thanks! Then let me show you a Guado's hospitality. Yeah, no magic damage is involved in that. I know, I know. <laughs> but still, it's good to have magic damage on Lulu anyway. Like, the, 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 the magic damage is the real, the real thing I wanted, and the stone touch is just funny. And regardless, this is like a temporary weapon for, Lu for Lulu regardless, until I get something better. <laughs> Wait, someday when the Crusaders regroup, we'll want them to help us too. A ferocious storm is ripping through the Thunder Plains. Please, remain inside. 
You know, I want to be the voice actor for someone who just lore dumps on the main character. I want to be that guy. And that is that. I want to be the guy who talks about the fire plane and fireflies all the time. Pyreflies, I mean. I want to I want to be the person who tells the player all the lore. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Is this Seymour's house? Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's wrong with Seymour? <laughs> Why does he want to see me? Hmm. Oh, there's pictures on this wall over here. I think this is Seymour at the bottom, and these must be like either Seymour's like ancestors or maybe other people who were in Seymour's leadership position before. I'm not sure. These are the past leaders of the Guado. Okay, well Aston answered. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader... Maester Jiskel... ...wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. <laughs> Seaman is annoying! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Seymour, Seymour is half human, huh? I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Why does no one like Seymour? <laughs> this way, please. Waka with the wide sniffer doesn't like the smell. <laughs> this way. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. There's no temple here in Blossom. <laughs> Someone's usually just asked you. Uh, Titus, Yuna, Luda, Lulu. I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. Lulu is trying to explain things. No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Titus, that was really rude. <laughs> Hello, Aqua. It's nice to see you, everyone. This is my good friend, Aqua Sereni. Let me give her a shout out. She's a really cool streamer. One of my, one of my best friends. Hello, Aqua. <laughs> How are you doing today? <gasps> but yes, go check out Aqua if you haven't. Um... You were just playing 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Ooh, how was that? <laughs> also, um, hold on. I missed, there was a question in the chat. Let me scroll up. I missed it. Um, hello, Naruto versus Goku26. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to have you here. I see you asked a really important question. Good evening. How are you? A question for you. What do you prefer, Aerith or Tifa? Personally, listen, listen. I love both of them, but... I'm on Team Tifa. <laughs> I'm a Tifa girly. <laughs> but that doesn't mean Aerith is bad. I love Aerith too. But I'm definitely a Tifa girly. <laughs> You're good. Almost done with work. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's another game I'm going to bother you to play one day. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yes, both good. But Tifa. True, true. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if we ever, um, if we ever live in a world where I get to play Final Fantasy VII or the Final Fantasy VII Remake games on stream, my, uh, little PNG tuber character will be dressed as Tifa, thank you. <laughs> you can see why people said you'd like this, since you like Zero Escape so much. Ooh, wait, it's, it's, it's like Zero Escape? Oh, now you have my attention. It'd look cute as Tifa, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel rude. <laughs> I was so rude to Lulu. <laughs> Why don't you eat something? Oh my gosh. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? What's wrong with Seymour? With power, use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. <laughs> What's everyone got a problem with Seymour for? What's wrong with Seymour? He's never done anything wrong. He's just a cool guy. Why is everyone so mean? <laughs> What's everyone got against Seymour? called us up here for more than just dinner. Yeah, Seymour is such a nice dude. Just listen to the music in his house. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, exactly. I'm glad you get it, Verso. <laughs> Dig in, Riku. I love you. Guado sure know how to eat. Kimari speak no more. He's got nothing nice to say about Seymour. Your kind of husband material. Not gonna lie, true. Only thing you need to hear is his voice and you get all warm and fuzzy. Seymour the Husbando. I'm so glad everyone here gets it. <laughs> what could it be? Oh. Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. Now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Hi! Must I always endure such praise? It's my favorite guy, Seymour Guado. Hello! Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. The most trustworthy Please man I've ever short. seen. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. and 
wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? She who? Yeah, that was a really pretty scene. <laughs> oh! Who's this? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable Sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Your face is beat red. You okay? He... He asked Ooh. me to marry him. Oh my goodness. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? Excuse me? I beg your pardon. <laughs> we Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Hey yo. <laughs> Tinas, don't smell it! <laughs> what the hell? Aren't <laughs> stinky. Wow, Seaboard is so romantic. <laughs> hey, um, before I keep uh, going, I do want to say something real quick. Um, 
I would like to ask like the people in the chat to please not get overly carried away with any sexual stuff. Um, I don't mind like poking fun, but we are kind of like walking the line of what I'm comfortable with. So let's um, not be like overly sexual for my sake. <laughs> yeah, Aaron is my emotional support old man. <laughs> True, mine too, mine too. No worries, no worries. I just wanted to give you a heads up before it got out of hand. Um, you are completely fine. I'm just letting you know like from now on. Let's let's tone it down. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh is Yuna engaged to Seymour? She's the world's luckiest girl <laughs> These are Lord Seymour's private chambers you may not enter no, 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 you're good, you're good, Darkly Shaded Shadow, don't worry. Like, I didn't say anything about it before, so that's why I'm just letting you know now. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, Yuna's the world's luckiest girl. I wish I was getting married to Seymour Guado. Yuna. The High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? I want to marry no you now. <laughs> we gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, <laughs> if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? What's not to love? <laughs> Mata, you can do better than Seymour. You're right. I deserve Yuna. <laughs> you, Yuna was the reason you main summoner in Final Fantasy XIV? That is super, super valid. <laughs> Why doesn't Tita see in him what I see? I know! I know! <laughs> yeah, she's gotta be in her 30s by now. You're right, Zombie Z. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow! But about well, marriage? Jeez. Jeez. Marrying Seymour, huh? Do you think she's gonna do it? Humans! Humans! A summoner and her guardians! Yeah, that's- that's us. That's us, alright. As sole protectors of the Far Plane, the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. We are fundamentally different from the pe populous humans in the hulking Ronso. But, that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. I'd love to step away from the Guado Glories and play for a different team once in a while. Why, if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed! Oh. You find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? Well, not really. <laughs> I suppose you, th we, you think we all look the same. No, I didn't say that. I, <laughs> you, I didn't say that! <laughs> Say, you play for the Besaid Aurochs. You're Titus, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's blitz sometime. 
Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. Oh no. Yeah, let's play some blitz balls sometime. <laughs> yeah, have they even held hands yet? Sus. True. You're right, Hale. There's something sus going on here. <laughs> They're waiting for the moon to blow. <laughs> Awaka! Oh. Hey, let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims, they come to visit the Fireflame. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. Me, you can trust. Me. I trust you, Awaka. Guado, at least. What do you say? You're my best friend, Awaka. You got any weapons? Water strike, lightning strike. Fatal Kate Sith? <laughs> Fatal Kate Sith will cost me all my money. Piercing and dark touch. Strength. Devastator. Strength up. Oh, this is for Riku. Oh, Riku needs this. Lightning ward, lightning ward, lightning ward. <laughs> Is it worth it for the memes? Um, absolutely. Are you kidding me? I need, I need Fatal Kate Sith in my life. <laughs> You're mostly lurking again. Hello, YS fanatic. Have a nice lurk. Thank you so much for stopping by. <gasps> no, Fatal Kate Sith. There's nothing I want more than to have Fatal Kate Sith as a weapon on my team. My husband has long served as a guardian to the leaders of the Guado. These days, he accompanies Lord Seymour all over Spira. Ah, one of Lady Yuna's guardians. How may I help you today? Well, I already spent all my money, but let's see what you got. Variable Mog. I can barely afford that. <laughs> nah, I'm good for now. You don't think anything is worth now, really, gameplay-wise? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. But how can I possibly resist Fatal Kate Sith? Hey, lassie. I'm gonna mess that baddie up, yeah? I don't think that's what Kate Sith sounds like. <laughs> that was a weird Kate Sith Waka fusion just now, but I did my best. <laughs> Oh, lassie, gotta kill this monster so we can hit the road. I can't do a Kate Sith accent. What's wrong with me? <laughs> That's not Kate Sith. Kate Sith doesn't sound like that. <gasps> Everyone is talking about Lady Yuna, how she's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. She fought alongside Lord Seymour during Operation Meehan, right? Thou wouldst... Thou seemst weary, good traveler. Wouldst thou sit and stress thy feet a while? Ah, but like my speech per- <laughs> Uriange si sighting. Uriange spotted. <laughs> Save some gills, you'll need them. Noted, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Words from an old friend of mine. <laughs> Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard within even Guado Salam now. Good traveler, prithee forgive us our antiquated prattling. <laughs> no problem, Arianje too. The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how unseemly it is babbling like that to guests. <laughs> we Guado protect the far plain so the dead can rest in peace. Although we Guado differ from humans in appearance, our respect for the dead is the same. Okay. I seem to have, um... I seem to have become lost once more. I am unsure where I should be going. <laughs> and there's no little red arrow on the map to tell me. Maybe this way. 
Oh, this seems right, yeah. Yep, everyone's here. Hey guys, <laughs> did I miss anything? <laughs> Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Have I thought about a career in voice acting? You're really good. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> that's really kind of you to say. And honestly, yeah, I really, really want to do more voice acting. I wanna, I wanna start pursuing it professionally. Oh, thank you, Aqua. <laughs> I do genuinely want to pursue voice acting seriously. I've actually been, um, I I've started, like, browsing casting calls online and everything, and I'm in the process of, like, starting to apply for different projects. Um, nothing, n nothing big studio or anything. I've got a long ways to go before I can, like, even have a chance at any, like, big studio production, but I am trying to start doing more voice acting this year, um, and it means a lot to me to hear you say that. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, I've been looking at both, um, I've been looking at, like, a bunch of casting calls, um, recently. Both paid and unpaid. I really want to get my foot in the door. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. Hmm? Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. What does she mean by this? <laughs> Also, thank you, Darkly Shaded Shadow. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And hello, Valkyrie Paladin. It's nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. You're still here. Yeah, and? <laughs> see you later. Okay, bye. Do I have a Discord? Um, so I don't have a Discord yet, but it's something I genuinely want to set up in the future. It's just there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into building a Discord server, and it's a, it's a lot of stuff that I'm not quite prepared for yet. So I'm not... I don't have a Discord yet, but I do want to make one as soon as I'm able. I don't have an estimate of when that will happen, but a lot of people have expressed interest, and I am very, very seriously seeking to pursue that. Oh, is that Chapu? Oh no. What the?
the far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Valkyrie Paladin, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Um, doing great. How's the game coming? Um, a lot of interesting uh, lore revelations happening right now. Um, a lot of a uh, lot of interesting things about the far plane being revealed right now. <laughs> you sure one of my fans knows Discord like the palm of their hands? You're not such a person. I but you don't have the time. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the gesture. I know. I need to. Um, that's one of the problems. I don't have people. Um, uh, I don't, I don't have people to mod. Um, I need to find mods before I can even consider starting a Discord. But that is something I need to like figure out for myself. I'm not like seeking mod applications or anything like that. I need to just find the people, like find the right people. <laughs> Thanks, Kamari. Yo, Chapu. Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. Gonna let me continue the game. I'll be around. Have fun, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am having fun. I really, really like this game a lot. <laughs> he is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> well, what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Mm, how about mm, Waka? <laughs> what, me with Waka? <laughs> you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'd do well to remember that. Ooh. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy <laughs> someday. Oh, got yeah, him. I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Aww. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Um... Huh? <laughs> Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh... uh... Mom? 
It's her. She's very pretty. But, wait, no one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there, uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Ah, uh, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See? See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought, thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. Oh, I see. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. I see. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living, so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Finally understand Titus. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Whoa. Lord Jiskel. Oh, Lord Jiskel. Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? Uh, just listen. I don't understand <laughs> how a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Um, uh-oh. Hmm, that sounds, uh, scary. <laughs> Okay, now where do I go? Oh, maybe here, where everyone's hanging out. <laughs> I will go meet with Maester Seymour. 
Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um, what? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? The people <laughs> marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Ooh. Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Uh, Want to know something cool? Uh, look at the Brotherhood weapon. T that's that's Titus's weapon, right? <laughs> Is there a way for me to to look at it? I don't think I can look at it right now. Um, what what's so cool about the the Brotherhood weapon? Brotherhood is pretty powerful. It's... It's Serpent gaining... Wait. <laughs> wait, it didn't always have all these abilities, did it? <laughs> I feel like a lot of these are new. <laughs> I don't remember it having this many. It upgraded. Woo. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you for letting me know. I would have missed that. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I might be wandering around in circles now, but it seems like a lot of story is just happening all over this place. Now, I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. The talk with Lulu and or Waka unlocked it. Oh, I see, I see. Be careful, it has water strike. I'll keep that in mind. Is there a way to um, remove abilities or just add them? Um, it does have sensor as well, so as long as I'm, like, smart, <laughs> I should be okay. It did have sensor, right? I'm remembering that correctly? Yeah, it has sensor. So as long as I use my eyes, I should be okay. <laughs> yeah, I can only add. Ah, uh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, you know? Seymour and Yuna can't get married. I want to marry Yuna. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. I can forge four slots in endgame, though. Okay, okay. Good to know. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. <laughs> huh? uh, you're not making much sense. Got him! <laughs> Lulu, that's hilarious. Hello, Numenon. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you. <laughs> oh my god, Lulu knows. <laughs> Lulu is jaded. She's someone that's been hurt very badly in her life. From what we've learned in the story, Sin has killed her parents and her lover, who may or may not have been her fiancé. That makes it difficult for her to trust others, but she still believes in love, which is why she's telling Titus getting along isn't enough, and why she just said that she wants Yuna to marry for love. True, true. Lulu's a really interesting character. Yeah, no, Lulu, I love Lulu. Lulu's fantastic. I believe she did love Chapu. So... That is really funny though. Lulu definitely knows. Lulu, Lulu is on to Yuna. She knows she's falling for this clown Titus. She is on to her. 
If Lulu wanted to marry the one she loves, no, nuh uh, mm mm, no, uh uh, no, sweetie, no, uh uh, no. <laughs> All right, where's my story progression trigger now? Lulu really said, get your boy failure. <laughs> where, oh, where is my story progression trigger? Oh, hi, Riku. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? I think I just remembered something about Riku. <laughs> oh, I can speak to Lulu multiple times? Thank you, I'll go back and talk to her. Lulu, I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. <laughs> Lulu figured it out before anyone I shouldn't else. I have to say this, but don't fall in <laughs> love. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, moral choice in gaming. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. My heart wants to say too late, uh, but my funny bone wants to say you're my type, Lulu. <laughs> no, no, no. It's too late. I see. But you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. Okay. It's too late. I picked too late. I'm sorry, Numenon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I deserved that. <laughs> Yuna! For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? Check out all the shops again. <laughs> For a while there. Okay. I'll do it. Um, I don't imagine I need to talk to, like, all of these generic NPCs. I'm sure I'll know who I'm supposed to talk to if I see them. I hope. <laughs> no, not up here. I do love this game, but sometimes... Sometimes I feel so confused with what it wants me to do. Oh, hi, Kamari! Water potion's good. Buy some before leaving. Okay, whatever you say, bud. <laughs> you think she says something like, try your shot, but watch out you don't get burned, little boy? Oh my god. Oh my god, if Lulu said that to me, I would just die on the spot. <laughs> my little heart couldn't take it. I need to buy guado potions, he said. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference between guado potions and regular potions? Maybe Kimari was just saying we need more potions? I think we have plenty of potions, Kimari. More than a guado, at least. What do you say? See, Awaka is selling potions for 25 less skill. I trust him way more. <laughs> This little sign. <laughs> I like the cute little sword on this sign. It kind of reminds me of the Buster Sword. I don't think it's supposed to be, but it's giving me that vibe. When we leave here. It's just a little scene for Kamari. No need to check out the shops. Oh, okay, okay. Titus on his own pilgrimage to stop the wedding. I'll make sure this wedding doesn't happen. <laughs> I will stop this wedding if it's the last thing I do. Let me try talking to Lulu yet. Oh, everyone's here. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. Hmm. Wado potions good. Buy some before leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll be your side side piece. I'll become the ground that people worship when you walk. <laughs> Do I want to know where to go? Um, yeah, sure. I feel, um... This is just another one of those, you need to do something very specific and the game is not going to hint at it. So sure, if you know, if you know what I'm supposed to do, please let me know. <laughs> we leave as soon as Yuna returns. Is this, is this another try leaving the entire area situation? Just leave the area. Ah, uh, it's... <laughs> I should just try leaving way more. It's almost always the answer. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes this game is so interesting with what triggers progress. Yeah. Again, like, I'm loving this game so far, but I think my biggest issue with it is just, it is sometimes so unclear how to trigger progress. Also, I don't remember how to leave this city, actually. <laughs> oh no, I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe down here? Like this way? Okay, here we go. Something's happening. My, was the lady summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh. Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> okay, back to the others I go. Honestly, I didn't even realize this, this pathway was here. I do to help. Yuna, let's go. They say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh, the Thunder Plains. Oh no, we're here. Ah! Oh no. <gasps> How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. <laughs> oh, Riku, no! <laughs> Moving across the Thunder Plains. Lightning can strike Titus on the Gandalf <laughs> Thunder Plains. Haha. <laughs> Lightning can strike at any time, so keep moving. <laughs> hey guys, we're here. We're in the location of all time in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> the lightning rod towers absorb nearby lightning. Seek shelter under them. So I mentioned at the start of the stream I probably wasn't going to go after all of the like ultimate weapons or anything like that like I did with Final Fantasy IX. And it's mostly because of this one. I don't really want to get Lulu's ultimate weapon. <laughs> Fear of God put me, put in me by this location, same. 
Uh, trust me, I do know how to get Lulu's weapon, and uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> I simply don't wanna. <laughs> you remember the pain of doing that 200 times? Yeah, I think I'll pass. I think... <laughs> I think I'm good. Thanks, Lulu. <laughs> it's not worth it. You've heard stories about this area. Yeah, this is one of those. This is one of those locations in Final Fantasy X you simply do not forget. <laughs> so, lightning rod towers absorb nearby lightning. Seek shelter under them. When there are no towers nearby, you can dodge lightning by pressing A. Hit A as soon as you see a lightning flash. If successful, you can dodge the thunderbolt. Do this a billion times for Lulu's ultimate weapon. There's a glitch to do it easier. Oh, is there? Um, lightning is the fun part. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> you 100% this game once and that's enough for me. Understandable. But there's a glitch to do it easier. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. <laughs> anyway, constantly mashing A, however, can be dangerous. Good luck! <laughs> Oh, but the music here is really good. like these men. I don't like these guys. <laughs> I don't like them very much. Lulu, get them. So... I think that's... Is, is the blue one... Is that ice or water? VV jump rope is more annoying. Oh, I'm so bad at VV jump rope. <laughs> the crater at the start right there provokes a lightning. Oh, okay, um, there are some other ways people use towers too. New Riku challenge, teacher only thunder magic. Oh no! Blue is water, white is ice. Okay, thank you. Go with the flow. Did I happen to buy any lightning ward shields from Guada Salam? I don't think so. What do I have to do for Lulu's weapon? I have to dodge like a few... I think someone said in the chat it was 200. I have to dodge like 200 thunder strikes. And I have to dodge it uh, without messing up. So I have to do 200 in a row. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! 200, that's not bad, but you, you you have to start over if you get hit, though. <laughs> yep, consecutive. <laughs> If anyone can do it, it's Necromancer and Mana. True! Hi, Yuri! Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you. It's true. It's true. If anyone can do it, it's me, Necromancer Mana. Let's try right now. Ow. <laughs> Let's try right now. Ow. <laughs> Let's try right now. I'm pressing the button, you guys. I swear. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm actually trying. I'm actually trying. Oh, there's one. There's one. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Five. 
five. Oh, okay, now I have to start over. <laughs> oh no. Ah! <laughs> we love the Gandalf Thunderplane so much. <laughs> it's very bad. You got to like 180 and got hit. It feels so painful when that happens. Oh no! <laughs> Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot. Oh, I see, I see. Get him, Lulu! Oh wait, I'm supposed to... Maybe I need to actually do the thing. <laughs> Now I've done it, I've made the lightning angry, and now it's just gonna attack me constantly, oh no! <gasps> You're right, lightning doesn't strike twice, that is the, that is the correct, that, that is the correct saying. <laughs> lightning doesn't strike twice, it strikes three times. It's Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 13 2, and then Final Fantasy 13 lightning returns. Lightning strikes three times. <laughs> Wait, I should probably heal my guys. I'm not looking at their health at all. Uh-oh, bye, Titus. I'm sure my guys would like a heal tossed at them. Don't die again, bud. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's a chance for me to practice uh, practice Titus's overdrive. I'm going to try what um, you guys told me to do before. Like, try to press the button right before it hits the yellow instead of when it hits the yellow. I'll do my best. all-time favorite game nice nice it's a really good game I love this game I finally learned how to use Titus's overdrive let's go <laughs> easy <laughs> first try hell yeah hell yeah Okay, so, I think I am actually gonna call the stream here. This seems like a good stopping point. Um, and uh, it also seems like a fun place to pick it up again tomorrow because I am going to be streaming this again tomorrow at the same time. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a good stopping point for now. I don't wanna get caught up into anything too big and I've been streaming for a good amount now. So this seems like a good place to stop. Hey everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I, I love this game, I'm having so much fun and it's been such a treat to hang out with you all while I play this. It has been a blast. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I will be back with Final Fantasy X again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I am going to be streaming Final Fantasy X twice a week moving forward because I really want to beat it before Dawn Trail and if that's gonna happen I need to pick up the pace. <laughs> that said, starting next week I'm going to be starting my streams at noon Eastern time so I'm going to be starting earlier. Um, so do expect earlier streams um, from next week on. If you want to see when I stream, I do have a schedule below and I do try my best to keep up with it. I also tweet about it when I'm streaming. Um, you can follow me on Twitter for more streaming updates. My uh, 
Oh, Nightbot got me. <laughs> uh, Nightbot got me. Perfect timing, Nightbot. But yes, my Twitter is the same as my Twitch. It's twitter.com slash scarletify. And I also have a VOD channel. If you want to see my playthrough of 10, like all the way up to this point, I do upload my VODs on my VOD channel. And I'll go ahead and post a link in that for the chat for you all right now. Um, but yeah. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So I hope you all have a good evening. I will see you all tomorrow for some more Final Fantasy X. We're going we're gonna to get 200, 200 consecutive lightning dodges tomorrow. Okay, have a good night, everybody. Bye!